Hey guys, how's it going? I am here to review another one of my Blu-rays. This one really surprised me. I'm sorry, I don't know why I went low like that, but... This movie is called The Woman in Black. Yes. Now, before I begin to review this, I just want to say... I don't know how many people like this. I'm pretty sure a big majority of the people who've seen it liked it. But a lot of my friends were talking crap about it. They said that there's too much jump scares and it just overall was not scary. <sighs> you know what? I loved it. Who cares if there were too many jump scares? Who cares if there was a jump scare after a jump scare after a jump scare? You know what? That's just what made the movie scary and I loved it. I think it was great. It is a little slow paced like in the first 45 minutes of the movie like you're just like okay come on something has to happen here and a lot of stuff happens after those 45 minutes and I mean a lot like just jump scare after jump scare after jump scare it's awesome um yeah but basically it's about this guy who um Deanna Radcliffe plays I respect him a lot more for being in this movie I'm not a big fan of Harry Potter, but I really liked him in this one, and, um... But yeah, it's basically about this guy, and he's staying at this, um, mansion. I forget why. It's been a while. But, um, yeah, and supposedly there's this really dark tale behind, like, um, the town they're living in about this woman who wears black. I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but that's all I'm going to say. A really creepy movie. Um, I absolutely loved it. It's a great movie. I bought it on Blu-ray because I want to see, I want to see some good quality picture, and I want to be scared, god damn it. I said that weird. My voice, like, went up and down. I don't know. I'm sorry for that. Anyways, The Woman in Black. And pro a lot of you have probably already seen my Insidious review of this, but a lot of you probably also haven't, so I'm just going to say it again. A lot of people review, like, compare this movie to Insidious. And to me, they're kind of like the same thing, except this one took place, like, a lot earlier. And this is, like, the more recent version of The Woman in Black. But, um, yeah, a lot of people compared it. To me, they're both the same. Just both great. Both the same scares to me. Um, yeah, they're just both really great. And again, I'm probably going to do a Versus video of Insidious versus The Woman in Black. Yeah, that's a tough decision. I do not know what is better. To me, they're just both the same. But yeah, check both of these out. That's about it for The Woman in Black, guys. Um, did I review it? Or did I rate it? I don't think I did. Okay, I didn't rate it. I'm sorry. Um, I overall, I'd probably give this movie four and a half out of five stars. Whoa, I know some of you are probably thinking, okay, Jacob, that's a little too high of a rating. You know what? That's my rating. I say it's four and a half out of five stars. And if you don't agree with me, then I don't know. Go watch the cities. But anyways, yes, four and a half out of five stars. Really creepy movie. Definitely check this one out. Now we're done. Okay guys, that's about it for today's review. I'm Jacob Palacio. Check out my other Blu-ray reviews and you guys have a great goddamn day! Really sorry, I'm sorry for, I'm sorry. I did not mean to startle you. Bye.